how do you add keyframes to your footage within the Insta360 app? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's really, really simple. This is how I edit all of my videos. I start in the application to get a rough draft, and then I export it onto the camera storage and put it onto the computer and carry on editing further on the desktop studio. With the new update with the Insta360, now you can do that. It's a great update and it really does help not only you get the most out of the editing software on both the phone and the computer, but it means you can export from the computer in a higher quality. And that is really important, especially if you're putting this onto social media or using these cameras for professional purposes. But just a simple video today, not everybody knows how to do it. So I just wanted to make this quick video on how to add the keyframes and start doing some basic editing on your 360 footage. So first of all, we're inside the application. I filmed some footage for a bike video yesterday and I want to do this follow shot of me riding past the camera. So first of all, I'm gonna change it from nine by 16 to 16 by nine because I'm gonna be uploading this video to YouTube. Now I wanna start over here. So I'm gonna be coming from this direction on the bike and this is gonna be my sort of starting point. So I'm gonna trim that there and then we can go left and right to drag it a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is trim it to the point I come round the corner. You'll see me in a minute appearing, there I am. And then we press the tick button for confirming that trim. So we press the plus button on the bottom and that is gonna be our first keyframe. When we move this about, that is changing the keyframe of your particular position. Then we press update keyframe there and that is going to be our starting position. So what I'm going to do next is about say about here I'm going to press the plus button again and then I want to drag the camera just a little bit drag my finger to the right and it moves the camera to the left and then I'm going to press update keyframe again we're going to press play and then we're going to wait for me to go past I'm going to press pause then I'm going to press keyframe again that little plus button drag it to make sure that cross in the middle of the screen is over me so you can see it there and then press update keyframe so then i'm going to drag this across i'm going to trim again and i'm going to drag this over to where that point was press the tick to confirm and then if we play this video back you can see the camera moving because i've added these keyframes along the bottom it is as simple as that, to be honest with you, and that's the first edit that we're going to do in here. You can add Clarity Plus if you want to add change of colour, Colour Plus, and you can now drag these up and down to change the amount of the Colour Plus. That's a good little update in a recent update. We can add speed ramps, multi-view, we can add freeze frames, and all these different things that I'll cover in future videos. So do please make sure you subscribe down below and press the bell so you don't miss any future ones. Now, what I'm gonna do is press the three dots at the top right-hand corner of the screen and then I'm gonna to go to edit data and I'm export this to the camera storage. That will add a file to the camera storage that is already this edited data baked into this particular clip. Then when we plug the camera into the computer, these keyframes will be on that clip and I'll be able to edit it further, add sort of transitions in between the clips as well and the keyframes and then we can export it in a higher frame rate and a higher bit rate to get it the best quality. So that's how I do it. That is how simple it is editing inside the application for Insta360. There are other videos, I've done a whole video on the snap feature that I'll link up above. There is the auto feature that lets AI do the clip for you. Um, you can do that as well but I like to really hone my videos down and edit with these keyframes. It is as simple as that. If you want to know any more information, please drop me a comment down below. If there's any other videos you want me to make, please let me know. But that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye, guys.